guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about negative self-talk and how it can affect us, not only short term, but long term. The reason that I want to speak about this is because I've been kind of dealing with this myself the past week and you guys know that I like to share, I not only like to teach and kind of share tips and tricks and stuff, but I like to share with you guys when I'm going through things and you know the way I process it, that way that hopefully I can help somebody else who is going through the same thing. To kind of give you a little rundown, this past week I have just had the worst conversations with myself. I have been so negative and talking so poorly about myself. You know, it started with having this little thing on my lip here that I keep getting every month on the birth control that I'm on. And it's not just that it's like bam in your face and I feel like people look at it when they talk to me and you're probably looking at it now that I brought attention to it, but it's also just something that I'm not used to. It's something that is painful. It's something that it takes a really long time to heal because it's there and it scars and it's just, it you know, it starts making me feel bad about myself. Also, I have been getting in the pool, doing some training and just not being a good swimmer and feeling like you're a failure at something, feeling like this is the one kind of athletic event that I don't excel at, beating myself up over that, telling myself that I'm gaining weight and then in pictures, you know, I see pictures and I'm like, you look so soft and you don't look like you have any muscle tone and what happened to, you know, the fit body, even though I know looking in a mirror, I look strong, I look healthy. So it's just these constant things that I'm saying to myself and this stuff starts to take a toll on you. I know for me, for example, I have just started, I feel tired, I feel like I'm unmotivated, unproductive because I am so tired. I've had less patience with my children, which I hate because my children are my life, they're my whole world. I've had, you know, disagreements with my husband because it's almost like I just want to fight. You know, when you feel bad about yourself, you kind of, you project that onto other people. And coincidentally, or not coincidentally, I have not read personal development in the past week. If you guys follow me on all my social media, you know that I probably over encourage um, personal development to the point where it probably feels like I'm whacking you in the head with books. But I really strongly believe that when every day you're reading something, you're reading about people that overcome, when you're reading the words saying you can do it, like you are not the only person that feels this way, it just does something to you mentally and it motivates you and pumps you up and inspires you. And so I haven't even been reading my personal development. I know that that plays a large part in the way I'm speaking to myself internally. And the reason that I kind of wanted to bring this to the attention on a video is because I am somebody that I have worked really hard to become a person that is super in tune with my body, my thought, my mind. So I'm really in I'm really in tune and aware of what I'm feeling, when I'm feeling it, why I'm feeling it because I worked through that through personal development. I taught myself that I choose happiness, I choose what mood I'm in, I can't you know, control what somebody else does, what somebody else says, I can only control how I you know, react to it, how I choose to allow it to influence my day or my mood. So you think about somebody who is like super almost hyper aware of that. Now think of somebody who has just gone through an average life that we've been taught to do, we've been taught to you know, grow up, go to school, be disciplined, and get a job, go to college, get a job, get a career. We haven't really been taught how to really dig in deep, find out what we want out of life and how to go for it. So when every single day we are constantly talking bad about ourselves, we're talking about how much we hate our job or how much we hate our body or how our children are just driving us insane, every single day that is going through our minds and your thoughts become your reality. So the more you think about this, the more negative you think, the more that becomes your truth. And when something becomes your truth, you start living that as your truth. And so you start to believe and internalize, maybe this is all I'm set out to do, maybe this is all that my life is for, maybe I'm not meant to do big things, 
And that all starts with the thoughts that are going on in your mind. Because when you control your mind and when you control your mind and turn your negative thoughts into positive thoughts, you'll find that things will start to get better naturally because you will be a more optimistic person. You will be more motivated. You'll be more willing to do things to get out of bad situations. So the one thing that always sticks in my head is that our brains, our minds are kind of like a radio station. You know, you can be in your car listening to a channel and you choose what you want to hear. You can choose to hear vile music that's all about sex and drugs or you can turn the channel to something that's fun, something that uplifts you, something that has a nice beat, something that makes you feel excited, fun, and pumped. Your brain works in the same way. We all have that negative voice in our head, no matter who you are, no matter what you've been through in life, no matter how successful you are, how happy you are overall, we all have that little voice that speaks to us. Some of us hear that voice daily, some of us hear that voice weekly, you know, monthly, yearly, some of us hear it every few years, but we have to choose to turn that off, to turn that signal off, to change the channel and replace it with something motivating and inspiring. I kind of want to make this video because I want to tell you first and foremost that I have an amazing life. I have a roof over my head, I have money in the bank, I have beautiful, healthy children, I have the most supportive, loving, attractive, um, amazing relationship with my husband. I have everything that a person could want. I have all the material goods in the world that a person would want, but there are still times when those voices creep up telling me I'm not good enough, I'm not happy enough, I need more, I want more, and that is normal. And so by making this video, I want to make you aware of how you are speaking to yourself. For a lot of my challengers, I give them an assignment because I have so many people that constantly tell me, I just hate this about myself and I hate that about myself and because of this I can't do that or because of this I can't wear that clothing. So I always give them an assignment. Every single day I'm going to contact you and I want you to tell me three things that you love about yourself. It could be physical, it could be spiritual, mental, it could be I love my eyes or I love my hair or I love the way that I care about other people or I love that I'm patient with my children. I want you to be aware of the negativity that you are speaking to yourself. If today you are telling yourself, I hate my body, or why am I, you know, why do I have so much cellulite, or why am I so unhealthy, why am I unfit, I want you to change that and think of things that you love about yourself. And I want you to be aware of how you are speaking to yourself every single day. Because short term, it's making you feel like crap, it's making you have a bad week, it's making you have a bad day. Think about when that becomes a habit, and it probably already is a habit, and you're doing it every single day for the rest of your life. You're never going to achieve your dreams. You're never going to get to the level of success and happiness that you want to get to. So I hope that this helps you guys and gets you thinking about kind of what you want out of life and the way you're treating yourself. Because the funny thing is we don't expect people on the outside to say horrible things about us to our face. We don't want to hear other people tell us that we're ugly or our teeth are crooked or whatever is in the comment section below right now, but yet we speak that to ourselves. We allow that from ourselves and that makes no sense towards loving ourselves and being accepting and happy. So I hope this helps you guys. Today, let's, um, in the comment section, tell me three things that you love about yourself. And if you want, tell me more than three things. I would love to hear them. I will leave mine as well. And until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.